in, in areas not to watch the film up front better than we did. So uh, she can turn over the ball. That's the number one thing. You mentioned earlier this week you knew Bill Cuba would have some things for you hadn't seen. What were some of the things in particular, I guess, in the first half that maybe caught you off guard? Well, yeah. earlier, earlier, you know, they're running a wishbone. You know, and so uh, I don't think they showed, you know, they, they did things formationally that, you know, when you got two weeks and he has two weeks. But, you know, I mean, uh, you know, as the game went, you know, we got adjusted and we played, played much better. But, you know, with me, I had a scramble for a bit. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, his, that's his gig. I mean, he knows how to do that. And, you know, you go three backs, two backs, and, you know, they did some things that they haven't been doing. And they executed them very well. In hindsight, which is always your favorite, do you wish you might have started to take the top off a little bit earlier in the second half? You opened some things up in the first half, it wasn't a little difficult to move the ball. I think we took the top off, you know, plenty in the second half and put what it good earlier, you know, whatever. But we still, you know, uh, in those situations is that we, we missed some throws. We, we had to do what we had to do. I think we did everything we could to win the game. We just didn't win it. We didn't make enough plays at the end of the day. What do you hope to accomplish now? You've got the bye week before Iowa comes in town. How will you treat the, the next 10 days or so? Well, we're going to meet at 10.30 tomorrow, and uh, we'll uh, visit about that. we got to get healed up, you know. Uh, Drew Walsh, a very good receiver. Got hurt. Alex Keith, you know, we got some guys that, you know, uh, got you know, beat up. we got to get, you know, get some guys healthy and so forth, and then we we got to get better. I mean, that's uh, the bottom line. i got to do a better job. I mean, I don't, I don't blame anybody except myself. I'm the head coach at All-Star Shooter. You know, I got to do a better job, so we'll approach what the best plan is. We got to put it behind us. I mean, you know, we ain't going to change it. So uh, we got to put it behind us and, and get into, uh, you know, the next the next ball game, which will be Iowa. Appreciate it as always. Thank you. Thank you. The head coach, Jerry Kill. Mike, back upstairs to you. Just want to see here, Coach. I think, test, most, I think most of you guys heard a uh, coach on the radio there, so once coach is ready, we can just jump into questions. <laughs> take questions once everybody's here. Go ahead, guys. Jerry, what, uh, offensively in the first half, what did they do to, you know, to shut you guys down? They just played better than we did up front. <laughs> I mean, they, you know, they, they held the line of scrimmage and we didn't get a lot of movement. And uh, so there wasn't a lot, you know, a lot going on. And so we, you know, we, you know, opened it. We had to do what we had to do. And I thought we threw the ball, you know, plenty to win the game. We just didn't make a play or two. We had some, you know, a couple shots that, we didn't complete it, and we completed some. So, you know, we did we did some good things offensively, but not enough. And uh, you know, we just uh, you know early early in the in the early in the game is that uh, you know their their offense had us off balance, and, and we weren't really executing on offense. And so it was just a, a sputter effect for a while. And once we got going, we did some good things. But it all comes down to you know, field position turnovers. I mean, I've said that every week. And uh, you know we didn't get they got more got more takeaways than we did I believe was that correct and uh, we didn't hold field position we had the ball in five and ten and you know twenty or whatever it was so you don't do those two things you know it's hard to win. How tough was it to see David come back the way he did and then have to come back? Well, I feel bad. I mean, you know, I mean he's running hard and you know I mean things happen in, in this game and. Uh, you know, I promise you he'll he'll bounce back and and we'll be ready to go. But uh, I felt bad for him as much as anything because he plays his tail end off. But things happen, and uh, you know it's how you react to him later on down the road is uh, what defines you. And so uh, you know I just felt bad, and, and it, that was a critical time at that time. Do you feel like once you get the lead, you the team will start to settle in? Then? No, 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 I don't think we settled in at all. I thought we stayed maintained aggressive and so forth. And, you know, with the field position. I mean, we're down there on the, you know, the punter did a heck of a job, kept us pinned in. And, you know, when you get pinned in like that, you got to make a few plays to get out of there. And one drive we got out of there, but we only got three points out of the deal. We needed a touchdown. And uh, so I don't think we, once we got the lead, we settled at all. They just made more plays than we did. I feel like the two minute offense, I mean, uh, you, when, you, when this offense needs to make a comeback like that, is, is that just tough? I mean, with how you're developing. Not really. Them? I mean, we had a shot, guys. We ran. Um, we ran. The, we had Isaac in the end zone. You know, and didn't didn't complete it. We completed with 
you know, we're up and we move the ball and have plenty of time to do that. But I mean, we go no huddle all the time in practice and so forth. So and the bottom line is that we didn't execute and they did. You know, that's my job. Make sure it gets done. So. I don't know how they handle different things. How do you think they'll handle this? Well, they, they have to. I mean, that's part of life. There's no nothing perfect in life. And, you know, we, like I said, it should hurt. If it doesn't hurt, then that's a problem. You know, and those kids are hurt in there and so forth. But it's our job as coaches to get them bounced back. And, you know, we got a huge game. We play Iowa at home. And uh, it's it's important. You know, we're, we're all bogged up in the same place. And, you know, we play at home. I've always said you can't lose at home. So. Uh, they've got to bounce back, I and mean, we have no choice. And uh, we got to get we got to get better in some areas, and we'll take a look at that. And uh, we got banged up a little bit again today, so we got to get some healthy bodies back. I think the biggest thing is is to get them fresh legged. You know, I think get them fresh legged and get their energy and so forth. You know, it's a it's a long season, and you got to be able to play fast all the time. So, you know, I think the most important thing this week is is fix what what we need to fix, but also make sure that uh, mentally. You know, they they regain their their energy and regain their focus, and you know that's not always easy to do. But you know, we are an off week, and it gives us the time to get that done. Jerry, where in your career, where does this rank in terms of disappointment or upset? I've been coaching for 31 years. I don't have that good memory. I've had a lot of things happen in my life, so my memory can't go back to 31 years. I've had a heck of a lot of highs, and I've had a heck of a lot of lows. And anybody that's in this profession. This coach for 31 years. They've experienced both of them, and if they haven't, you know, I don't know if there's anybody perfect. So, I mean, there in, there's not a loss that, as a head coach, I personally eats me alive. So, if that answers your question, that's the best way I can answer it. Jerry, what's the move on your sideline there? That kind of weird sequence in the third quarter. We think he had the fumble on Wilson. That they ruled down and come back with a big play. That yeah. You know, I think that they, uh, you know. Like I said, the officials made the call. And, you know, they got you know got it right, and we went down and scored. And, and uh, you know, they, I think they were positive. I mean, I don't think our kids ever thought that we, you know, we we're going to lose the game. You know, when we had the ball and, until we got down there, and I don't know where we we got down on about whatever it was the twenty, you know, at second ten. We we threw the, the glance route over through Fricky, and uh, then we had I think two, you know, two two shots to. You know, to the to the end zone, and and uh, we just didn't, you know, we didn't convert on them. So I think it's that's the that's that's the deal about making plays. You just, you know, you you have to make those plays. And we made we've made some this year, and and they've been great. But we didn't make a play uh, when we needed to. Thoughts on, thoughts on the defense for the second straight game in the first quarter, kind of coming out slow. I'll have to look on film and so forth. Uh, I think if you have two weeks to get prepared for somebody. And if you're deep on the defensive side of the ball, is that all the, you know, and they line up with three backs and wishbone and option, and, you know, you knew they were going to do some, but what formation they were going to do it out of, you know, it certainly, the off week helped them in the fact that they were able to, in their situation, be able to, you know, get some things done. And, and anytime you give Bill uh, some time to, to prepare, he's always, always good. And, and uh, that's not the first time he's been able to, to do that. He does that to a lot of people. And uh, but you know once our guys have settled in and we play better and, and uh, offensively you know we did some things and we got better. It's just the problem is it was uh, I guess uh, didn't make a lot of no, enough plays at the end of the day to, to win the game. What do you think the Mitchell's performance? He had a career highest number of 40 passing yards, but he only completed 12 to 30 passes. Well, I think you know he's taken. We took a lot of shots, you know, and sometimes when you take those shots, you know. Your, your completion ratio is not going to be as much. And throwing for 240 yards, we don't have to do that. We're not in the game. So, uh, you know, until I watched the film, but he gave us a chance to win. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. He gave us a chance to win. And we'll go back through it. And like I said, all you, all you do is is go go get better. But if we don't have those 240 yards, we're not we're sitting here without no chance. So, and that's sometimes when you take some shots. Uh, David has fumbled before this year. You guys. Talk to them about different ways of. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's, I mean, again, and when you talk about that all the time, we, I, I think you all been in practice and you know how we coach and so forth, and you get somebody playing hard, and you, you talk about it all the time, and it just becomes worse and things like that. I mean, it, it was, 
he's making a hard run. He got three guys on him, and somebody trying to strip the ball. I mean, that's what they're taught. We've done it to people, and uh, like I said, he'll he'll work his tail end off. And again, we we got to do a better we got to do a better job of you know blocking, not put him in that position. We also missed a block on that particular play. We make that block, and he's going to have three guys laying on top of him, stripping the ball. So there's there's a lot of things that go into all that. One or two more questions. Yeah. All right, thank you.